So let's show you uh, a series of drills here that you can actually utilize with the short club. Okay, Jed, so let's just do a little pivot drill here first. Just stick the club across your shoulders there. There we go, a little tilt here, left shoulder a little higher. There we go, right, now work it back and through. It's always good just to have something like this because you can actually see where, where this is going, the, the grip is going, I like. That's, that's really good, good. You can see how it sort of, as it goes back, sort of gets behind the ball. As you move forward, you can see anything of this nature you'd see. So it actually starts to work the, the shoulders on the correct track. Now all the way through, rotate through, very good. And once more, so this is a good way just to start off with, yeah. And you know, so this is the sort of thing that you could do maybe 10 to 15 uh, movements with each, with each little drill. And you, so you literally in about 10 minutes, you've got a whole little practice session going. Okay, so the next one, okay, let's just, Let's go through, um, um, let's just check your posture, just, this is just a check, it's not really a drill, just put, just put the club across your quads here, uh, just bend forward, pull it towards you, there you go, that, that just gives you that little bit of resistance, you feel that? Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people get a little bit sloppy, so that gives you that sort of nice angled back bending from the hips, you see. Okay, right, so now just hold the club, alright, so this, this is what you're going to do here, so you're going to break this down where you go, okay, one to here, good, two, Three, impact now, four, five to the finish. Good, do that once again. One to here, you call the eight o'clock position, right? Two, where you set the club, that's fairly vertical here, to the top, okay, all right? Impact, finish, very good. And so that's the way of splitting your swing up into little bits, and uh, obviously you've got to put the whole thing together now. So what I'd like you to do now, okay, the next little drill here, I want you to just make some swings just with your left arm only, going back to about halfway, okay? So and if you want, just grab, the, grab your wrist, uh, other way, just put your hand underneath, there you go. And if it's a little heavy for you, not because of the length of the shaft, it's probably be light enough, but if it is too heavy, you can always hold the club upside down. You can actually hold the club just here, and we'll illustrate that. So you can see how much light that is if you hold that in. You see, that's it, right? So now, but just, you're a big, strong person, you can do that. All right, so grab your wrist here, that's it, I was like, there you go. Right, now you work it away, move the, move the away, as they push it away, good, you feel like your stomach is moving the club away. Mm -hmm. Set the club vertically, we can see here, so just reverse that, right. But now, then I want you to really whip it through from there. So only going back to halfway, now go, let's see. Perfect, and again, good, so it really helps the release, and you can see as you feel this, it almost, you can feel, feel the club here, there we go, right. Okay, so nice and light, and then as you move, you almost feel like the club is actually doing this, you see? So there's a little what we call shallowing effect, all right? We, what we call going from steep to shallow. So just do that again, and then all the way through. And put not even that far back, just only about halfway, okay? That's it, halfway back, good now. Very good, very good. All right, now, now hold it with your right hand only, okay? Just a sweep back now, so this is, this is, you can actually grab your, grab your hand here, yeah, like so, there we go. That's it, there we go, good. All right, this just gives you a little support, that's all, all right? So this gets, you can go all the way back on, on, on this occasion, all right? So now we shallow it out, now all the way through, rip it through. You see, golf is a two-sided game, you want your left side working, you want your right side working. And there you have it. So a nice series of little drills. You've got the pivot drill, you've got the positions, the five little positions we spoke about. You've got the left arm drill, you've got the right arm drill, and then just basically putting it all together. If you did that, just a few minutes, maybe 10 to 15 reps of each drill, uh, shouldn't take you more than honestly eight to 10 minutes. And if you did that three or four times a week, you get a great feel for what you're trying to do. I say one of the big problems that golfers have is they're working on stuff, they go out on the golf course and they overthink and that creates tension and even though the, te the technical stuff may be right in many sense of the word, in every sense of the word, the fact is that when you start to overthink, you can't play golf. You know, you've really got to think and focus on your target. So this allows you just to get a feel for the swing. So you go out and you play golf, you don't play swing. So I love the, the short club. Uh, the short club will really help you. So at every opportunity, if you can just pick up a club, swing it, You'd be amazed how your game will improve.